All right, friends, if I was going to gift you $100,000, or if you had $100,000 of equity in your home, what would you do with it? Hey friends, Stephen Michael Miller here, and I'm gonna be honest, um, I'm feeling maybe a little scared right now because I've got a comment from Skull Splitter. If that's you, uh, thank you for your comment, thank you for your question. You basically are asking, I've got $100,000 in equity in my home. My name is Skull Splitter. Okay, anyway, uh, I've got $100,000 of equity in my home right now, and you, your question is really, what do I do? And you listed off a few different points in your comment. Hopefully I'm understanding your points, but I'm gonna go through some of those points. And uh, if you or anyone else has some questions or you'd like to add to some of the comments, please put them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you as well. So you've got $100,000 of equity and you asked, do I sell, cash out, do I rent for a couple years maybe, and then repeat that, or do I get a HELOC, a home equity line of credit? What do I do? So I wanna kinda of go into this and help you see maybe some of your options of what you've got to do. And I'm gonna ask you not to split my skull whether you like or dislike this video, please. Thank you. So you've got $100,000 in this home and I'm gonna give you a few different options based on some of the things that you said and what I think that you're asking. I'm just gonna give you some different options. Option number one, you stay living in the home. Okay, so option number one, you're gonna stay in this property. If you stay in this property, you can do a couple different things. You can do what's called a cash out refinance, right? Which is basically just doing a refinance on the property, pulling some of that initial cash out that will possibly increase your monthly payment, but it gives you access to that capital to offset that monthly payment by going and buying producing investment properties. So that's number one option. Option number two, along with that, is to stay in the home and do a HELOC. By the way, a home equity line of credit or a HELOC is very similar to a cash out refinance. You wanna do some research as to which one in your area is gonna be the best for you. Sometimes they have very similar interest rates, sometimes they do not. So you probably wanna choose the one that has the very best interest for you or that is cheapest money, right? You wanna, you wanna spend the least to get the most money out of that. So either a home equity line of credit or a cash out refinance could work for you in that situation. Option number two is you sell the property, right? You just sell the home and you maybe get into a different home. And this is, this is another option that you, that you have, right? Sell the home, pull out the $100,000 of equity. You said you might wanna rent for a couple years, although I would recommend never renting. Renting is just throwing away your money. So if you're gonna sell your home, you may wanna take a small portion of that to get into your next property that you're gonna get into, your next primary residence. Buy it right, buy it with the intent to turn it into a, uh, a rental property or a, uh, a lease option type of deal. So I would say, don't ever rent if you don't have to, but you can sell it, take some of the money to buy your next primary residence, and then take a portion of that to go buy some investment properties. Maybe you'll only be able to do one or two investment properties in that way, but that's also another option. Um, I would say option number three would be to not sell, but to move into another primary residence. It, it, so option number three is really kind of a conglomerate of, of some of these other options. It's don't sell, um, don't stay in the home either, move out of that property, turn that property into an investment property. Because by the way, even if it's an investment property, you can still pull money out of it. Uh, you can still, um, you, you know, if, if it's a good property and your payments are lower on it, you may be able to cash flow even more heavily on that property. So you already have a property, go buy, you know, go into another primary residence or buy another primary residence because you can get into that home cheaper. So. In other words, you've got a lot of really great options. One of the best things that I would tell you right now would be to honestly talk to one of our team. Let's get you a, a proper game plan and understand what some of your best options would be. But those three are really some of the ones that I can see just off the bat. Again, just to go through those real quick. You can sell the home, just get out of it, take that money and go put it into other properties. Uh, you could decide not to sell the home, do a cash out refinance or a HELOC, access some of that, that money and go put it into investment properties. Or you could get out of the home, not sell it, still pull some money out, go buy another home cheap, uh, turn that one into an investment property and take the rest of that money to put into other investment properties. I personally would probably prefer 
depending on your situation, I think one of the best options would be option number three. But whatever option you choose, my recommendation is get after it. Start doing some real estate right now and skull splitter. Whatever we can do to help you in real estate, we'd love to help you as much as we can. Have a fantastic day. Okay, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, comment, click descriptions, everything. Come on, have some fun with us here.